Okay, so tertiary structure. What is tertiary structure? I heard a combination of beta sheets and alpha helices. It's the overall structure, total protein structure. Secondary elements are going to arrange themselves into some sort of overall, encompasses everybody, right? We said the protein might be 100 residues long, and the alpha helix is like 20 of it, and then the next alpha helix is 20 more. But the full 100, and how all of that comes together, is how we would describe tertiary structure. So myoglobin was the first 3D protein structure to be determined in 1958. This is a few years after um, DNA was described by Watson and Crick. And they're really sad. Here's the clay model that they actually made of myoglobin. They were really sad that it was not neat and nice, and they really wanted it to be just like DNA, RNA. And when it wasn't, um, they were like, oh, so much more work for us. So that was Myoglobin. Who knows what myoglobin does? Still, Still binds oxygen, just like hemoglobin. What makes it different from hemoglobin? It so it's not transported in the blood the way hemoglobin is. Myoglobin is usually in the muscles. It's not floating around in the blood. It still binds oxygen. It only has one unit. Hemoglobin has four subunits, and we'll have a picture of it on another slide. It's also less susceptible to changes in pH. So pH really affects hemoglobin, which of course is floating around in the blood. It might actually experience some different pHs. Stored in the muscle, myoglobin, less susceptible to that. The principal driving force for protein folding into overall 3D tertiary structure is creating a hydrophobic core. Putting all the hydrophobic residues on the interior and putting all the hydrophilic and polar residues on the exterior. Myoglobin is called a globular protein, okay? meaning it's water soluble and it exists in a primarily compact and folded state. Okay? Looks like a glob in my I don't know. I don't know how they came up with that genius name. Unless it's supposed to be globe. Okay, so. Um, so here's another view of it. Okay, what we have here the purple is our backbone. In A, on the left, it's showing where all the hydrophobic residues are, and you can kind of see they're all pointing to the interior. And then all the hydrophilic residues are shown in B. And again, they're all these little exterior pieces that stick out okay, to be able to interact with water. Okay? Water surrounds everybody. 